Hey, I hope you're doing good. It's Chris Hippen, Six Dream Finger Picking. In just a second, I'm going to be teaching you how to play The Heart of Life by John Mayer. But if you're new to this channel and you're really into finger picking, then feel free to subscribe and press the notification bell. And also check out some of the links down below this video through to the site where there's hundreds more finger style guitar lessons. And there's also some finger picking courses that you can try and take if you want to invest in your playing a little bit more. Okay, let's get on with the lesson. Okay, so let's get into it. The first thing that I want to mention is that the original recording and when John plays it live, he has his guitar tuned down half a step. All the strings go down half a step, but I've got it in standard tuning because I'm assuming that most people watching this have their guitars in standard tuning as well. And it's always a bit annoying where you have to tune down. But anyway, so let's go over the chords first off. It's actually one of John Mayer's easier songs to learn which is nice. And if you've learned Stop This Train or Neon or anything like that, you're not going to struggle too much with this. But the chords, we're going to start with a D chord, played like this. So that's like an F shape D chord pushed right the way up. So on the fourth string I'm playing the 12th fret, the third string I'm playing the 11th, and on the second string I'm playing the 10th, and then you want to wrap your thumb around the back and play the 10th on the low E string, the sixth string. So that's your first chord for your D. Then it goes down to a B minor, so like that, but I've got, again, I've got my thumb round the back. All right, so that's seven on the second, seven on the third, and ninth on the fourth, thumb round the back on the seventh on the low E. Okay, then we're gonna push that same shape down to F sharp minor, exactly the same shape. And then we've got this G, which is the same as the D, but just starting on the note of G on the low E string and then D slash F sharp, like this. That's just a D chord with an F sharp in the bass. And then just an A, just a regular A chord, basically. So D, two bars, B minor, two bars, F sharp, G, D slash F sharp, A. Okay, so that's the intro and it's the verse and that kind of goes round. So we've got to get the picking on top of that as well. So let's really break that down. Holding down the D chord, for the whole thing, you're just using your index thumb and your second finger. Okay, so that's, you could use your second, uh, sorry, your first finger, you could use your second finger on the B, some people do it slightly differently, but this is how John does it. Um, so holding that chord down, play the second and the sixth string together. Okay, then we're gonna do a very light percussive tap on the, on the low, just a low, on the low E string, percussive tap there. But at the same time, you wanna come down with your index finger, and strike the third string, that's gonna be the 11th fret, like that. You don't really, you don't wanna come down hard or anything like that, just really lightly, too hard and it starts to sound bad. Just to add that little percussive element. So we played the second and the sixth string together, and then we do that light percussive tap with the thumb and we pick down on the third string using our index finger. Okay, and then our index finger is in the perfect position to come up on the second string, 10th fret, like that. So all together, all right? And then we're gonna play the sixth string, and then we're gonna play the D string with our index finger again, up on that. Okay, so so far, like that. And then we're gonna come down back on this G string, with our light percussive tap, so. So really slow. Okay, you wanna practice that pattern because it, it happens an awful lot throughout the song. And it's the same one as Stop This Train and um, Who Says. It's exactly the same pattern. He likes that pattern a lot. So really do practice that just on that one chord. So once you've done one bar of that, then we're still on D for one more bar. You want to play the second and the sixth string together. Then we do that tap again, striking the third string. Okay, but then bring in your pinky and put it on the 12th fret of the second string and play that with the sixth string. So, okay. So, and then come down and do that tap again and striking that third string. So I think every time you do that tap there, you're striking the third string down. So on the count of two and four. 
replicating a snare drum. I write that tap there. So you always strike the third string with that tap. Okay, so so far, Okay, get that, and really, a lot of the uh, the battle you have you've accomplished, you know. So then you go down to B minor after that, and look, it's exactly the same in your picking hand. The only difference is at the end, instead of playing you know seven nine, because that's not that's going to be out of key and it's going to sound dreadful. You're going to play seven ten on that B minor, right? So. That's exactly the same as, but just. And then we're going to play the second and the sixth string together, do our tap down on the G string, and then you're going to play the tenth fret on the B string with the sixth string, seventh fret. And then tap again on that G. If you're not super accurate with, your, with the tap, and sometimes you're hitting the wrong string, don't worry about it too much. The accuracy will come over time. Just keep doing it and everything will fall in its right place eventually. So, so far, nice and slow. Okay, then we go down to our F sharp. We do the pattern once on our F sharp. Nothing's changed in the picking hand there. Then we go up to our G, okay, and we do exactly the same. We do the pattern once. So that part, it's just like that. Okay, so. One time on the F sharp, once on the G, and then once on the D slash F sharp. Okay, so remember just a D chord and then the thumb around the back on the F sharp. Like that, okay. And then we go to our A. And we do our pattern once on that. So this one, the only difference on this A, see I'm barring it, I like to bar, but of course you could play it like that um, as well, or however you play your A. The only thing that's changed here is that the thumb isn't playing the low E string anymore, it's playing the A string. Okay, so we get, it's exactly the same. So second and the fifth string together. And then you do tap still on the G, up on the B, then the fifth string, then the fourth, and then you tap. So we've got, that's your progression. G, F, D slash F sharp, sorry, and A. That's your first time through, your intro, that's how the song begins. And then the second guitar comes in and you hear. Okay, you hear that. So it's slightly, very slightly different, but then the rest of it is still the same. So you just got this to, to learn that sound there. So on this D, first off, do one bar of it as normal, just the pattern. And then you've got to hear this melody, and that is the second string, 10th fret, then the 12th fret, then the first string, 9th fret, 10th fret. Okay, so we'll start, hold down your D chord and play the second and the sixth string together. Then we're going to come down and do our tap, but we're going to hit the 12th fret here. Okay. Uh, on the second string. And then you're going to play the first, sorry, the first string, ninth fret, together with the sixth string. And then you're going to come down and you're going to play the tenth fret on the high E string with the tap. Okay, so in these bars, the more melodic bars, that's the only time when you're not playing the G on with the down pick, with the down tap, sorry. You do it on the B string there and on the E string there. So you can just practice that. So you've got okay. Hope that makes sense. Then we go down to our B minor, one bar as normal, and then we get. So this time we want to put your pinky onto the uh, the ninth fret of the G. Play that with this with the bass note. And then we come down and we do our tap. This time it's going to be on the B string, 7th fret. Okay, so 
Then we're going to play the two E strings together. They'll be both on the seventh fret. And then our final tap is going to be the tenth fret on the B string. Okay, so it's so the notes are. Okay, so you've gone there, and then, okay, that, so what, and then the rest, as I said, is exactly the same. Okay, so that's your intro, and then the verse comes along, and the verse is pretty much exactly the same as the intro. I think most of the time, John's just playing... first time through that we learn and then the second guitar is doing that all the fancy more melodic parts as well but you can because it follows what he's singing you can put that in you can put that in if you want to John probably mixes it up um, quite a lot that's how you play the intro and the verse to the heart of life so that's where we're going to leave it for now. If you want the full lesson, just follow the links through down in the description. You'll get the rest of the lesson right away. Um, but yeah, that's it. So thanks a lot. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.